Hey friends, my name is Alan and this is another Studio One quick tip. And today we are talking about gain staging, especially from the perspective of those of us who work purely in software. Let's go! Gain staging is a slightly controversial and a little bit confusing subject, but it's important enough that there are a lot of articles and videos made about it. And often you will find conflicting advice in those videos, which makes it even more confusing, especially for those of us who don't have decades of audio engineering experience. It is important enough that there is a Wikipedia article about it. So according to Wikipedia, gain staging is the process of managing the relative levels in each step of audio signal flow to prevent introduction of noise and distortion. In a classic music production scenario, you work on your track, you arrange it, you record it, and then you export stems and send them to a mixing engineer, who then imports them into a new project, adjusts the levels, and one of the most important and severe problems that they're trying to prevent is the whole signal going over 0 dB and clipping in the output. However, if you are working purely in the box, it means that you have only one analog output, that it's your main output. And everything before that is 100% digital. Also, nowadays you are often mixing as you go. So in your DAW, most likely you are working with 24-bit or higher resolution. In Studio One, you can check this by going into Song Setup and you get there by clicking on your sample rate in the transport panel. So make sure that you're working in a 24-bit resolution or higher. And this, in practice, means that you will never clip anywhere before your main output. So with all that in mind, let's hop into the door and check this out in a realistic scenario. So this is my track back in time that should be out today. Check it out by following the link in the description. I've been working on this track for a while. And at some point, after I've been adding layers and layers, I started clipping. So let's see what this looks like. So what do I do now? I can go through all of my channels and try to adjust them so the output isn't clipping anymore. But this is a lot of work just in terms of levels. But then it also means that the input levels of some of the plugins I used will change, resulting in even more work to be done. However, as you recall, our main output is the only place where clipping is occurring. So if we can just lower the signal coming into the main bus, we'll be all set. So for this purpose, I've created a mix bus and then I wrote it all of my other buses and individual channels into that mix bus. And then everything from that mix bus goes into the main channel. So now I can just adjust the input controls on that mix bus and lower the overall input into the main bus. So these are the input controls. If you don't see them, you go to this range icon here and here you should have input controls checked like this. So let's say, let's lower it by like 8 dB. Let's play again. So as you can see, we are not clipping anymore. And that's all there is. As you have seen, you don't have to overthink gain staging when you work in software exclusively. Check out my track back in time wherever you listen to music. Hope you found this tip useful. If you did, please like it, comment below, let me know what you think. To get more Studio One tips in the future, please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell. And with that, thank you and see you next time.